the forehead of your robot. Have you ever wondered why is the spin pasta wiki becoming nothing but a cesspool of stupid THX stories, along with the lost internship recreation bullshit on well-known movies and episodes of shows? Well, there's one problem regarding to this so-called cesspool, is that of lost episodes of Teletubbies. My god, where do I begin with this? I'm sure y'all heard about those old Teletubbies creepypastas, such as the Playground and Seesaw. Those ones were a classic compared to the current ones that are just messy garbage. I'm not kidding. Ever since THX pastas, Teletubbies pastas on the so-called spin pasta wiki are nothing but cringeworthy, unscary, fanfiction-esque, rip-off, cliched, plagiarizing, crossover stories. What we had in these stories were lost episodes featuring villains from popular movies, shows, and video games. It's just the same plot. It's just your typical Robin Horton inspired Teletubbies creepypasta, except it's intensely bad. I remember the time in the summer of 2021 that I made two Teletubbies creepypastas based off of Slendy Tubbies, a slender based horror game franchise regarding an infection in Teletubby land. The shit pastas you might know are, anger management, and, the aftermath. When I think about these creations of mine, they are garbage compared to the shit pile of new Teletubbies pastas. But what made it worse is that there is another sequel of my two shit stains called, Another Aftermath, created by a different person. And, it's trash. Just like the two stories I made. Well in conclusion of this trend, I made my third Teletubbies creepypasta in the spring of 2022, is Liminal Spaces. And it is the last Teletubbies lost episode creepypasta that is less terrible, but not to mention the plagiarism of the aforementioned Slendy Tubbies pastas which ruins it. I soon moved on to something original, and disowned my three Teletubbies creepypastas, along with my first THX Broadway trailer creepypasta, which is heavily ripped off as of now. I once made an original creepypasta about a lost computer animation from 1992, and that was a banger, even though it was a bit short. And no, it doesn't deserve a crappy sequel, because that will ruin the tension of being an original lost media creepypasta. There's also the Line Guard, Foley's Inferno. It was the first ever Line Guard creepypasta to have effort, compared to the only failed attempts from the now called Lost Episode Creepypastas Wiki. It's basically the same plot, with normal kids DVDs having disturbing episodes, but with originality compared to the repetitive epidemic that kept going in Spin Pasta. The episode follows Foley the Cheetah, getting trapped in a strange red forest full of horrific creatures, and it ends with her getting burned alive in a pit. Now back on topic with Teletubbies pastas. I have to disown those narrations regarding two lost Teletubbies episodes nowadays, along with Luna, because I just had enough of this trend. They even begged me to do more of those Teletubbies creepypastas that featured horror movie and video game villains, etc. No, just, fucking, no. I ain't narrating more of those stories, because they're stupid, and it's the same shit all over again, no change whatsoever. They just kept unreasonably requesting me for narrations of stories that had this same fate as Teletubbies and THX. They hugely did not care about my channel rules. At all. Like, at all, not in their lives on the internet. I would imagine a plethora of troll accounts spamming me to do more THX and Teletubbies bullshit, because trolling was enough to get you told off harshly or even worse, banned. This is why you have to let my channel be. So far, I would be deleting those narrations and re-uploading them to another channel, being as TVD 136, the video effects dweller, which is full of disowned and stupid content such as Hotel Mario intro effects videos, etc. I came to say that Spin Pasta deserves a change, from all this cesspool of dumb plot over using crossover stories, such as THX and Teletubbies. Anything that is repetitive will be removed on this site. The screenshots I've seen in those repetitive pastas are so piss poor that it makes Sonic.exe look like a Hollywood creation compared, but I don't bear narrating anything regarding to Sonic.exe. In case if you're wondering, yes, I'm indeed, Topical Studios. Regarding to that name, my main channel is not that important from now on, because I seem to rarely upload random videos on it, not to mention I'm done making shitty BFDI auditions and it's like it's 2018, 
otherwise it will be a disaster, just like how I make my crappy THX and Teletubbies creepy pasta narrations. I'm sorry that I got harsh over those spin pasta trends that sure needs to die off right now. That is all. See you later my mature and chill viewers.